What would you say today if you knew that tomorrow you would never speak again? I spent 16 and a half years working with people who either by accident or by illness or by birth lost the ability or never had the ability to speak. And so when I started practically speaking, I started it because I look around and I see so many professionals and I see so many incredibly talented people not saying what they need to say, not saying what they want to say because they're afraid. They're afraid to speak up and ask for what they want at work. They're afraid to share opinions because of the fear of rejections. They're afraid of botching that presentation. They're afraid of getting it wrong. They're afraid, they're afraid, they're afraid. And I get it and I understand exactly what that feels like. I have lived that. And so I made the switch to working with career professionals on their speaking communication skills. And today I wanted to do, I wanted to do a fun bed talk. I wanted to do this fun bed talk and have the Cheerios and do all the things. But to be honest, I can't do fun today and I can't do fun because I got the news last night that a neighbor of ours passed away and she passed away from a battle with cancer that she'd been fighting a really long time. And it really bothers me. And I think about her and I think about the fact that she was a couple years younger than me, just two little girls and a husband who just, I can't say enough about how he was with her during this time and how our neighborhood rallied around to to try to support them while this was going on. And I think about I think about all the people who are holding back today, not saying what they want to say in point blank, tomorrow isn't guaranteed. We're, it's just not. And if what's going on in the world today isn't teaching us that, if it isn't teaching us that we need to continue to reach out and reach out now more than ever and be saying the things that we need to say, the good things, the hard things, the asking the hard questions, we need to be doing all of that right now. And I wanted to do something funny with Cheetos and I can't. And I wanted to wear a funny t-shirt and I can't. Because at the end of the day, the question is still ringing in my mind. What would you say today if you knew tomorrow that you would never speak again? And the thing that I want to say to you today is that you do have something important to say. You do have something that the world needs to hear. I don't care how many times it's been said before. I don't care if there's somebody that can say it better than you, that uses bigger words or fancier words or is more eloquent or is has better pride, better hair. doesn't matter. You have something important that needs to be said today to someone else. And I want you to do it. And I want you to do it for me. And I want you to do it for for every single person that would give anything to have that chance again. And you have it. You have that chance today. So ask yourself, what would you say today if you knew that tomorrow you would never be able to speak again? And what I'm saying to you is that I want to hear what you have to say. See you tomorrow.